is your Phantom Safety Pin again, and welcome back to Let's Play a Pokemon Nuzlocke Red. Now, we can see that our Pokemon are kind of beat up here, so I'm going to throw some potions on them and hopefully heal them up before we continue to fight our rockets. So there we go. And I think Flora is good enough on her own, so we won't heal her. I'm going to keep on going, check this rock. And there is an ether here! Awesome! Ether is a great um, tool. It actually restores power points, or PP. <laughs> PP. Power points to your Pokemon's moves if they are low. Because your Pokemon, of course, have points, power points to their moves, and if they run out, they can't use that move anymore. So, it depends on the Pokemon's energy, and they don't really change unless you change them with, I believe, elixirs. And I don't know if elixirs exist in this game. I don't remember. I'm sure they do, I mean... Now I'm gonna try to send Flora after the Zubat, but I just gave up aside to use Bruce. Because you know what? Zubat against Zubat! What could go wrong? So this is how you fight with Zubat. Gonna use Leech Life, and... It's actually gonna take a little bit more, because this Zubat is under. This is, this is a weaker Zubat than that one. Ouch! Oh, come on, Bruce. I believe in you! So anyway, Zubat starts out with Leech Life, and uh, it ends up becoming ends up becoming quite a deal more annoying as time goes on. It learns Super Sonic, uh, then Soup, then um, something else. I forget what, but I know it learns Super Sonic, and then it learns like think, another move, but I forget. Um, I know it'll learn Wing Attack, but I don't know if that's in Generation One. I don't think it is. So we're just gonna stick out, send out Jay to take care of it. I'm trying to train up Bruce a little bit so he can get some experience as well. And everybody, yay! He's at level 14 now, and Bruce did not gain a level. Too bad, so sad. Yeah, I believe I want to go grind Bruce's level some. And hey, a trainer battle! Did you come to explore too? I certainly did, good sir! Um, little boy, I mean. I certainly did go to, uh, explore. <laughs> and here's a rat attack, so we are going to leap. Dang it. Freaking quick attack. We're gonna leap seed it, so we have a nice, uh, energy sink to work off of. Ow! That was a little too close for comfort. And, oh my god, that, that's very close. I don't know why I used Vine Whip again. I probably should have just used Tackle. It would have been way easier. And it wouldn't have wasted a precious, precious Vine Whip that I could have used against a Geodude or an Onyx or something way more difficult than a freaking Rattata. Yeah, but I did use a potion to make sure I had, uh, I had some energy to spare. I think I just wanted to get the battle over with really quickly, and Vine, attack, Vine Whip was the toughest move I had, so I, I just wanted to get it over with quickly so you you nice people wouldn't have to sit there and and watch me utterly fail over and over. So I decided Flora had had enough and sent out Jay. And there's Supersonic failing. Sometimes it will hit, sometimes it will fail. I don't know why sometimes it'll fail. And there's Supersonic working! And here's what happens when your Pokemon is confused. It does that, and then you have a 50-50 chance of either hitting the target or hitting yourself. Of course, it'll do a certain number of damage. Losing stinks. Yes, it does. I hope you enjoy because you're you're going you're going to see a lot of it. So we're gonna keep on going. We can actually go right past this guy, but there's an item here I want to grab first. It is a Moonstone, and now that we have the Moonstone, we could evolve our Nidorino into Nido King, but we're gonna wait on that. And hello, Skype noise in the background. Gotta have Skype on. Whoa, you're just a kid. This guy's a hiker. He's another trainer type. Hikers tend to use uh, fighting and rock types. They don't really use ground types that much. So very commonly you'll see them with Geodudes, Onyx, um, and Machops, Machokes, and Machamps. Gently macho macho Machops. Blech. So these guys are really, really not that hard if you have a wild, a, a, a wild, <laughs> a water type or a grass type Pokemon. They're really pushovers. And I restored the power points of Leech, not Leech, of Vine Whip. God, I can't talk today. 
What is going on? Jeez. I threw a vine whip at it to kill it because I was pretty much out of vine whip. After restoring the power points, I restored it. I'm going to stop talking now. No, I'm serious. I'm not going to comment for the rest of this let's play. I'm serious. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm not going to comment anymore. I'm not going to say anything because I can't talk. Ah, who am I kidding? I love hearing myself talk too much. So, we're gonna, again, Vine Whip this Onyx, and again, Vine Whip just destroys rock types. So does Razor Leaf, which we'll get later in the game, but not right now. And with that, the Hiker is defeated. And now we can go on and go, uh, fight Team Rocket, but I think I went to go... Yeah, I went to go grind, and, uh, what happened was... We lost Bruce! Yup, our first fallen comrade of the game is poor, poor Bruce. Only level 7. Poor Zubat. So we're gonna go give him a proper burial in the PC box. And if you're wondering why I'm putting him on the PC boxes, well, you'll see later. There's a bonus I'm going to do. A memorial bonus for every Pokemon that I lose in this Let's Play. So we're gonna deposit Bruce, and since we don't have another Pokemon, I'm going to withdraw Buzz. Yeah, we're gonna withdraw that freaking Beedrill that knows nothing but Harden. Carry him around like an albatross around our neck for a while. And while we're here, we might as well heal our Pokemon. So I'm gonna join- so now that we're back here after I've healed my Pokemon, again, cutting it out because you don't want to see that, and I don't want to see that again. It's very, very boring. We are now going to go face more Team Rocket goons. Ah! Go away! I don't- I don't need reminders of my lost fallen comrade, Bruce. I don't need reminders of you. And another rule for the Let's Play is, if I've caught the Pokemon before, I can't catch it again. No duplicates. So, I cannot catch another Zubat ever. If I lose Zubat, I can't catch Zubat or Golbat for the rest of the Let's Play. Like, if I have a Rattata, lost Rattata, I could not, I could not catch Rattata or Raticate for the rest of the Let's Play. So, in keeping with that, we are just going to end up not using Zubat anymore. Too bad. So sad. Because Zubat is actually a pretty decent Pokemon. Doesn't seem like it at first, but then again, no Pokemon's perfect at first. Going up here, there's nothing. I don't know why I went up here. There's probably a hidden item or something. But. And that's another Geodude. Wow. This cave is just so, so interesting. I'm so sorry we've spent three videos in this damn cave, guys, but if it helps, I think we leave the cave at the end of this. And I actually had to- this is another video I had to do several takes of, because, again, I just ended up- the footage, for whatever reason, would not take. I had a lot of cases where the footage would not take, the audio would not take, Buzzer Sun Fury Attack, which makes him useful now. But I just had so many cases of, um, problems with it. That rocket trainer I skipped because he kept glitching me out for whatever reason. My copy of the game kept glitching out when I tried to fight that trainer. And I lost a lot of time. And I had to redo the cave. And it just... I freaking hate Mount Moon. I really hate Mount Moon. This is the worst cave. It is the worst cave forever. So now that we have a useful Beedrill now, we can attack this Zubat. Ah! Supersonic. Buzz is confused. Wonderful. And there's a case of confusion working not in our favor. And why is Bug super effective against Bug? Does anybody know? Why is Bug super effective against Bug? Why are there Pokemon types that are effective against their same type? That doesn't make any sense to me. This game has no logic sometimes, but it's Pokemon. We don't play it for logic. We play it because it's fun. So I believe, I believe I just get sick of Buzz like having. I wanted him to gain all the le all the ex experience he could, so I did I did heal him and try to move on. God damn it! And confusion like sleep is something your Pokemon will come out of on their own. And confusion can be in action with other status ailments. So you can be confused and have a burn, for example, or confused and poison. I don't think you can be confused and asleep, though. I'm not sure. 
Uh, Generation 2 introduced another status ailment, Infactuation. Uh, that's where a Pokemon basically is so smitten with the other Pokemon, it won't attack. Thankfully, there's no Infactuation in this game. Because that is the most bullshit status ailment I think I've ever heard. It doesn't even make sense. Infactuation? You're so in love, you can't do anything? It's basically a glorified paralysis, is what it is. But, and another Geodude. At least there's fewer Zubats. Yeah, again. I think you'll excuse me if I fast forward through this part a bit, because, again, it's really just so boring. <sighs> And finally, here we are, back at this rocket, doing something useful. So these guys are trying to revive ancient Pokemon from fossils, and sell them off to make a profit. You know, I think it's interesting that they have whips. I'm assuming it's because they're evil people and they beat their Pokemon, but... <laughs> but, I don't know. I don't know why they have whips. You make up your own reason, aside from them being evil, evil people. So, this Rattataz, level 13. Fairly simple. It knows Hyper Fang at this level. And again, like I said, Hyper Fang is a very hard to deal with move if you're not careful. Quick attack too, but less so. So we're just gonna keep on going. Hopefully Flora can kick this Rattata's ass relatively quickly and we won't have to deal with this Team Rocket for more than like a minute. God damn it, just die already! <laughs> <laughs> Leech Seed killed it. I love it. Leech Seed killed it. And another Zubat. I'm getting so sick and tired of seeing Zubats. You know, I could go my whole life without seeing another Zubat, I think. And I'd be totally okay with it. So anyway, this is the last Team Rocket we have to fight in here. He's... He's no more... He's no more difficult than he looks, and he's hes really... We're not going to see Team Rocket again until Cerulean. And after Cerulean, we won't see him for another long while. So, consider this the um, best of the best of Team Rocket for now, and we'll continue it more in Cerulean when we finally get there. Freaking... Come on. God, this battle is going forever. Why is it going so long? And that should do it. There we go. And with that battle one, we can finally go and, uh... <laughs> now I'm mad. Good, I don't care. So with that, we are going to say goodbye, farewell, and I will see you next time.